Hello friends, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use DIR command with the different options. The DIR command is used to list the content of the directory. The DIR command is not used in commonly in Linux. Now I will show you the common syntax for the DIR command. DIR and then the option and then the file. This is the general syntax for the DIR command. Next, I will show you some example DIR commands. It is useful to you. First, I will show you simple output for the DIR command using dir and slash i will list the slash directories in the directory you can see the slash is contain this type of directories now i will list the slash home directory contents use dir you can use slash home and you can see i have a user one directory in a slash home directory now I will show you one more example for the slash directory using DIO and slash etc. This command will show you the content of slash etc directory. You can see the slash etc contains these type of directories. Next, I will show you list files one line per one file. Now, I am listing dir command in my current working directory. This is listed one line per three files. Now, I am listing one file for one line. The command is dir-1. You can see here. Next, I will show you all files in a directory including hidden files you may see using dir a it will hidden files you will show you you may know dot file is also calling a hidden file you can see here and next i will show you al it means all listing files dir hyphen al you can see listing the files hidden files also users and owners long listing next i will show you view directory entries instead of directory when you need to only the particular directories entries and the uh, long listing files you can use dir and then hyphen d option you can use hyphen d it is the instead of directory files only now i'm moving the slash etc directory instead it have a slash etc file now I am listing the files long listing. You can use dir iPhone D and then the DL space slash etc. It will show you the long listing file for the slash etc file. You can see here the owner of the slash etc file is root and then the group of the slash etc file is slash root next i will show you the index number of a file it means the inode number of the all file you can use dir and then iphone i for inode number and l for long listing files you can see here the front of the line 
this is the inode number of the slash desktop directory and this is the inode number of the slash document directory next we will see list the files and their file sizes now you can use the file size viewing option dir and then hyphen s option is viewing the file size and you can also use hyphen h for human readable file format and then hyphen i hyphen l for long listing this is the command to view the file size and blocks and it enter you can see the file size and the long listing of the file you can use also the hyphen capital s for the short file size it means file size it be shorted and you can use hyphen s ssh and hit enter you can see the file size is shorted and then next i will show you last modified files with their contents you can use dir and then the hyphen a s h l t t for last modified files a for all files in that directory contents and s for short size and h for human readable file size l for long listing and hit enter you can see here last modified files and then the it will be shorted long listing also you can view and next i will show you list files without owner or group owner you can use this file dio and then the a h g and then the cap g and then particular file slash home and then the user one directory and i'll explain you the option hyphen f hyphen g for it works like a hyphen l option only that it does not print out the file owner and to the list hyphen g is the group of the owner option now you can hit enter it will displays you you can see here this is not listed the owner of the file and group of the file next if you interested to know the author of a file you can use double hyphen author now i will show you how to view the author of a file using dir hyphen al for the all files and long listing and then double hyphen author and then the it enter you can see the last line will be show you the author of a file in here this is the author of a file in desktop you can see different file in here this is the author of a double dot file you can compare above the command and this command will be added the author of a file in line next i will show you how to view how to view subdirectories in recursively it means that you can list all other subdirectories in a directory using this command di 
R and then hyphen capital R. This will show you all subdirectories and directories. You can see the document directory contains here these files and directories. And next, I will show you how to view user and group IDs instead of names. First, I will show you with names in the file. You can use dir and then option iPhone L and then the double hyphen author this will in the author of a file in the using name i'll show you the name the other option is the group id you can use dr and then hyphen n l for the and double hyphen author this will show you the name of user it will shows you the id of a user you can see in here difference between this is a particular user's id group id this is a user id this is a group id this is a author id and next i will show you view file separated by commas you can use this dir command iphone am m option is used to archive the files it means in the comma line in the line and each enter you can see the comma of the directory and that's all about the dir command explanation we will hope you this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching this video